<laughs> now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just hold a second, Lim. Liz? You hear me, girl? What do you want now? You gotta play that thing so loud. Come out like this, Oh, don't bother me. Liz. Someday I'm gonna give that she cat a whopping she's been asking for. Sure you will, Dave. Bring the law down to her. Let her know who wears the pants around here. I'll be back in a minute. Come on now, Lim, and tell us about that thing you killed out there at the swamp, will you? Yeah, Lim, let's hear the rest of that. Like I was saying, I put five slugs into that critter before it went under. Don't go on this thing I ever seen. And regular arms on it like a man. But it was sort of different looking. Had, had suckers on them. Like one of them, uh, like one of them octopuses things. <laughs> oh, it was plumb off look. I've been poaching this country for 40 years, and I ain't never seen nothing like it. Lem, I think that critter's a, a ghost one of those otters you've been poaching all these years, coming back to haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's so, you fellas will see it right quick yourselves. I want to be mean or anything like that, Liz, baby. But I got a reputation around here. These folks have no respect for a man who lets his woman boss him. Well, next thing they know, they'll be laughing at me. And they'll be telling all the rest of the... Won't you please listen to me, Liz, baby? Liz? Look at you anywhere I want. You're my wife. Don't touch me. You think you're talking to? Don't touch me. You're my wife. I'll touch you anytime I feel like it. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going out. Maybe I'll be back. Maybe I won't. Liz, baby, I didn't mean nothing.
young one in that last trap. I had to kill it. Oh, poor thing. Told you you shouldn't have come along. Steve, you're a stranger here. They've lived this way for generations. One man isn't going to change them overnight. Hey, you're a real worry -word. Oh, I'm serious, Steve. They can be dangerous. Okay, I'll be careful. You just stop worrying. Oh, Steve, I love you. I love you so much. What was that? I don't know. You get in the truck and lock it up. The rule that Sawyer died by misadventure. Now, as far as this office is concerned, that's the end of it. But, Sheriff, I can't see Look, why they're... if Lem was killed by anything human, I wouldn't need you to tell me my job. But I'm not about to go tromping through the swamp looking for an overgrown gator. Sawyer wasn't killed by an alligator. Is that so? Did you hear that, Morton? Game Warden Benton says it wasn't a gator killed Lem. Well, then, what was it? You know so much, go on, tell me, what killed him? You work for the state. Now, why don't you keep your nose out of county business? Is that clear enough for you? Oh, go soak your fat head. What was that you said? I said, go soak your fat head. Boy's looking for bad trouble, and he's sure going to get it. You can bet on that. So you see, the octopi uses its suction discs to hold its prey. Now, in itself, the disc will not inflict a wound. Same is true of the squid. Now, both creatures have a parrot-like beak as their primary offensive and defensive weapon. Well, maybe the sheriff was right, Dad. Could be a freak or a malformed alligator. No. No, I'm afraid it wasn't. Well, where does that leave us, Doc? I wish I knew. But Sawyer claims to have killed the thing he saw, put a half a dozen rifle bullets into it. I've seen that old 4440 he used. Nothing could live after being hit with those slugs. Will? Conceding the possibility of one such creature, we must also concede the possibility of others. Now, well, there's one sure way of finding out. Go in and search every backwater, channel, and wet spot in the swamp. If it's there, I'll find it.
or something? Yes. Well, whatever it was, it's not here anymore. Do you want some coffee? Yeah, thanks, son. An army could hide in here and never be noticed. Well, one did. What? Seminoles under Osceola in the 1830s. Took the U.S. Army two years to round them up. Oh, I remember reading about Osceola in high school. Two years. We've only been at it two days and I feel worn out. Well, we might as well keep on looking around. I guess we may as well give up for today. Well, you won't get any argument from me. Last time, Dave Walker. You answer me, you dirty old man. I ain't dirty, Liz, baby. Liz, baby. Liz, honey. Can't you think of anything else to say, stupid? I gotta get this order over Miss Chauvet. She's one of my better customers. Can't keep her waiting. I love you, Liz, baby. Some trouble, Dave? You know women, Cal. Gotta get the hair down every now and then. You sure do know an awful lot about females. I gotta hand it to you. I can't stand here, John, Cal. Gotta get this order over to Miss Chauvin. What's she letting the hair down about this time? Well, ever since Lem got herself killed, she wants me to sell out and move into town. Don't you let her bamboozle you, Dave. You keep her right here in the store. After all, the place wouldn't be the same without you around. Thanks, Cal. I better get going. See you when I get back. Yeah, I'll be around. Ah, 
Well, it seems kind of silly knocking ourselves out looking for something we aren't even sure exists. What do you mean? You know, we, we, we've covered miles of back channel and haven't come across anything to support your father's theory of an alien creature. Not so much as a mud print we couldn't identify. I know. You're not going to give up, are you, Steve? Well, I, I can't waste any more time on a wild goose chase. With all respect to your father's ideas. Dad seems so sure. Yes, some woman is. I reckon I'd haven't met a woman like you before. You really like me, Cal? You kidding? <laughs> no, I didn't hurt you now, did I? Just, just so strong. I, I like a man that's strong. What? <laughs> I've wanted to tell you. You just wouldn't understand. Be trying there. Come on, you tell old Cal all about it. You wouldn't think bad of me? <laughs> Crazy. You tell me you killed your pa and your ma and your whole family. I fight to protect you. I don't know how to take care of a woman like you, Liz. Maybe it ain't too late, Cal. You're wrong, woman. It's too late for the both of you. Get up. Come on, get up. Now, look, Dave, I, I know what you're thinking, but... I got double large shot in this here thing. You got two seconds before I pull the trigger. No point getting riled, Dave. It wasn't my fault. She's been testing me for months to take her out. Sure, Cal. I understand. Get her up so I can get a better look at the line, little tramp. Come on, get her up. Come on, get up. No, Cal, no. No, he kill me. He kill me. Jump him. And your husband wants to take a look at you. You, uh, you walk all the way, Dave?
Go on, run! Run till you drop! Listen, it, was, it wasn't my fault, honest. She kept playing up to me every time you turned your back. It wasn't my fault. You call yourself a man. You and your muscles. <coughs> Shut up, you tramp. If it wasn't you, I wouldn't be in this fix. And my old friend Dave wouldn't be doing this thing to me. It's all your fault. <coughs> Get going. Uh, but but Dave, Dave we, we've, been friends, we've been friends a long time, Dave. You wouldn't, you wouldn't kill an old friend, Dave. If you don't move, I'll kill you where you stand. Uh, but Dave! Great big man! Oh. 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 I didn't mean it, Dave! I didn't mean it! Dave, the kid is out here! Oh. Oh. Dave. Please, Dave! You think you'll learn enough to stay away from a woman, Carol? Oh, oh hey, anything, Dave. I, I'll move into the... I'll move out of the county. I, I'll do anything you say, Dave. Anything. down here, sir. Well, I'm getting tired of this. Come on in, boys. Well, if there was any bodies out there, we'd have found them. I want some straight answers, Walter. And don't give me any more of that crud about monsters, either. Where'd you hide them after you killed them? Told you the truth, Sheriff. I didn't kill them. Come on, Walker. Where'd you hide the bodies? Won't you believe me? It was some monsters. They take him out of here before I lose my temper. <laughs> my... <laughs> County fair reward if someone finds body, Sheriff. Fifty dollars. Each. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I never thought that of old Dave. Of course, everybody knowed that Cal and Liz had a hankering for each other. Everybody but old Dave. Stern fools. Grappling out there in the middle of the water. If an them bodies is still in there, you can bet some old bull gators got them stuffed in his cave under the bank. Letting them ripen up for a few days. Yeah, well, what we need now is some long cypress poles to go in there and probe them gator caves. <laughs> My 
I'm sorry, Doc. I can't do it. You know, I have to do it myself. Well, look, Doc, Nan and I were all over that swamp. And why didn't these monsters attack us? I've been thinking about that. They're probably night creatures. They can't stand the light and they stay down near the bottom during the day. A small charge would stun them, bring them to the surface. Can't buy, Doc. You're pig-headed, Steve Benton. Stubborn and pig-headed. You just don't understand, do you? Good night, Doc. in that hole. Funny. Huh? Did you notice anything? Oh, uh, what? We've been prodding around you all morning. Ain't run across a single gator. By rights, this, this pool should be crawling with him. So funny. Yeah, that, that is funny. I don't like the looks of things. Let's call it a day. Well, now, wait a minute. We, we ain't pulled the gator holes around the bend yet. You do what you want to do, boy. Just get me on dry land, and right quick. All right, now, ain't no use getting all head up. Let's go. You gotta quit drinking that moonshine. Yeah. Boy, you're so wrinkled and ugly. No way out here. Wild goose chase. <laughs>
we've been calling, but there's been no answer. Oh, I just got back. What seems to be the trouble? Well, haven't you heard? Old Sam Peters and Porky Reed have disappeared. Come on inside. Mrs. Reed said the men went searching for Cal and Mrs. Walker's bodies, and they never returned. Cobra says he'll get up a search party if they don't show up in a couple of days. Doc, you and Nan take your car and get as many volunteers as you can. Tell them to meet me at the old wagon road. I'll call Doak Evans and have him bring his dogs. Either they're lost or they've had an accident. I hope to heaven you're right. Sand, anyway. Dad, do you think they'll find them? Only the good Lord can answer that. Well, at least we know they got this far. Tonight, might as well start back. I reckon ain't no use hurrying now, Mr. Benton. Reed and old Sam was alive. They'd let us know him with a hollow or something. Yeah, it kind of looks that way. You fellas notice anything about this lake? I mean the gators. What about them? They ain't. A piece of water this size usually has maybe 50, 60 big ones around. A whole lot of little ones. It's real unnatural. Well, maybe our uh, torches scared them away. Nothing scares gators. Nothing. Animal or human. Well, we might as well get out of here. You got something in mind, Steve? I keep thinking what Evan said about the gators. Nothing scares them, animal or human. And yet something made them leave, maybe a... Maybe a mineral contamination. I guess I better run some water samples. Come on, you two. Drink your coffee. 
And uh, supposing there is no contamination? Well, then I'll send over to Eastport for a diving rig and go down to look for this monster of yours. No, Steve, don't even joke like that. I'm not joking, man. I had some training with an aqualung while I was in the Navy. But, Steve, there are no alligators in that part of the swamp, right? So? No sign of any fish or snakes? No. Well, what are you getting at, Doc? Well, that goes your argument about setting off a dynamite charge underwater. You to bring the bodies to the surface. Get it out of your mind, Doc. I'm not using any explosives as long as there's another way. Why must you be such a... a stubborn pighead? Exactly. I'll tell you why. Number one, there's bound to be some aquarium life in that section, even if the bigger forms have abandoned it. Explosion underwater would destroy every living thing and wreck what nature took years to build up. Number two, I'm paid to prevent the useless slaughter of wildlife. Number three, I'd have to get authorization. And to get that authorization, I'd have to come up with a heck of a good reason. Satisfied? Finish up, Dad. I want to go home. Uh, Steve, uh, how long would it take to get this diving equipment from Eastport? Mm, a couple of days. Why? Oh, nothing. Take care of yourself, Steve. Well, here's hoping. Dad, can't you throw the dynamite in from here? No, I want to get it out into the middle. In the deepest part. All right. Go any minute. figure it out. Walker's wife, why didn't her body come to the surface? I don't know. Well, I think I better walk over to the coroner's office. What's the matter, Mr. Benton? You feel awkward about arresting my father in his own home? I warned him I'd arrest him if he used dynamite. It's nice of you. Well, the autopsy should be over by now. Oh, Steve. I thought you'd be here. I don't like to have to do this, Doctor. Do we have time for a cup of coffee first? Sure. You mind, honey? 
No, I'll make some sandwiches. One thing is certain, for all the good it'll do now. Dave Walker didn't shoot Cal. I just come from the autopsies. Covis tried to keep me out. If I told him I'd raise a stink, they'd smell all the way to the Capitol if he did. Well, well, what killed them, Doc? Not drowning. And Cal wasn't shot, either. Every drop of blood was drained out of their bodies. And they had wounds on their throats. Suction wounds, like a, like a gigantic leech might make. And there's something even more incredible. Now, Cal was supposed to have been killed several days ago. Sam and Reed had been missing a matter of 48 hours. All three of them, as far as we know, were in that lake uh, a minimum of two days. Now, I'd stake my reputation as a doctor that Cal hadn't been dead more than two or three hours when we found him, and the other two less than that. First stage rigor mortis started in during the autopsy. But how could that be, Doc? It's impossible. The coroner will confirm it. Whatever killed him is still in that lake, and it's going to take more than dynamite to get it out. A concussion from those charges would have killed a full-grown whale. That explains how Cal and the others lived after they were supposed to be drowned. What do you mean? Well, this whole region is riddled by caves and caverns cut out by the ocean thousands of years ago. If there are caves above the water, then there must be caves under the water. Go on. Mike and I had a chance to fool around with some frogman equipment captured from the Italian Navy. We sort of prowled through a sunken transport off Salerno. When the ship went down, it trapped some air inside the hull. We'd go down, come up inside the officer's lounge, take off her face mask, and sort of sample some of the bottles floating around. <laughs> we drive the guys crazy trying to figure out how we were getting the stuff. You mean you think that there's a, an ale pocket or a, a cave underneath the lake? Right, gotta be. How else could those people have lived down there? Not only that explains how whatever it is down there lived through the concussions. Steve. Liz Walker. She might still be down there. Alive. Want me to go down for you, Mike? You haven't had one of these things on for a long time. Well, me, every other day, I've been playing fish. Not this time, Mike. If you ask me, they ought to have their heads examined. Giant leeches. <laughs> well, I'm willing to bet a month's pay they don't come up with nothing more than excuses. He's crazy. Him, the doc, and his brat, too. Just wait till I get on the phone to the Capitol. I'll guarantee somebody will wish they'd kept their nose out of other people's business. I'll guarantee that. Steve! Be careful, please. Don't worry, Mike will be ready if anything goes wrong. Don't worry about Steve. Now, if you were going after Barracuda, you might have a tiny bit to worry about. Ready, Mike?
exactly inviting, is it? That sure isn't. Over study, Mike. Stop anything up to a tiger shark. But you got a hit, and this is don't count. Now, anything goes wrong, just yank on the line. I'll be down in a hurry. Mike, I, I think I heard it pretty bad. Careful now, anything hurts ten times as dangerous. He's wounded it! He's gonna finish it off! Does he have to go under again? He's got to make sure, honey. Where could it have come from? Maybe the proximity of Cape Canaveral's got something to do with it. The rocket station? Well, they use atomic energy in the first stages of launching. Not all of them have been successful. You think that if some animal life was close by, not close enough to be killed, but close enough to feel the effects of a radioactive energy that's... Uh, a mutation. A type of gigantism of some common animal. Whatever it is, I hope he's able to bring it up. Done that. Look at her face.
been around here for years. I never saw nothing like that before. There's no sign of them this time. They must be licking their wounds. You sure you used enough stuff to do the job, Mike? I used 100 sticks of 40%. Ought to blow the bottom right out. All right, let her go. Oh, no. I've done enough of your dirty work. Help yourself. <laughs> 